My dreads? I know you do. If you want to get like me, I'll show you, boo. Mm. Amateurs? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Y'all okay? I want to know. I honestly do. Y'all good? What was that? Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Cool. So, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to learn how to retwist dreads. And I also am going to show you how you can start your dreads, how you can get them to perfection. Almost, not quite, almost like mine. Mine aren't to perfection yet, but they will be. Give it some time. She's getting there. She's getting there. They're going to be like, mm, can't tell me nothing. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So, what I started my dreads with rubber bands. Rubber bands are very much underrated. So, you're going to get you some rubber bands. And what you can do is. You know like how you do like a plait and you use two, two uh, two like bunches of hair and you twist them and you twist them and you twist them. That's what you can do with the rubber band. Get your hair in a rubber band and you twist and you twist and you twist. Yeah, you need like a demonstration. Alright, 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 hold on. So, I'm not going to put no rubber band in my hair because my hair is still wet. I'm not going to do that. And I don't really, I don't need rubber bands right now because my hair is, it's like sectioned out kind of nicely right now. So I'm going to show you with just two of the dreads. So what you do is you get the two, right, right, and you twist, and you twist, and you twist them tight, and you twist, 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 and so forth and so on until you get to the very end and then so that's that's kind of what it's going to look like right there that little curl pattern and you have the rubber band at the top to keep it sectioned it, it'll i'm sure it'll um oh and i oh i just got tangled up there it'll you get the rubber bands in it'll section better like that so Make sure you grease it, grease the parts daily. Make sure they're not dry at all. Cause if not, you're gonna lose your hair. You're gonna lose your hair. I, 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 I promise you, you're gonna lose your hair if you don't grease it. I grease my hair daily, daily. I'll, I'll wet it, I'll spray it. Cause dreads are like plants. I spray it with some, uh, some oil and water, and they spritz it, spritz it, spritz, 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 just to keep a little moisture and a little uh, grease in there so they're not dry and falling off and getting flaky. And what you're gonna need next is beeswax. This, this is for the more advanced, like this is for when your hair is already locked. This, this, is, or if you have like I would just say if you have like Caucasian hair and their hair is a lot more easier to to like lock in their way or if you have thick hair but even thick hair I'm not sure about using this I'm, I, I think you should just use beeswax to start off with and go from there so this is a mixture of it smells so good this is a mixture of like another thicker thicker type of cream i'm gonna insert the clip on that i'm gonna show sure you a picture in here somewhere of it anywhere in there and then you're also gonna need like elastics to to keep your hair section so you're not doing 
certain parts so it doesn't get tangled up because you know joints they quick to tangle up quick to tangle up so you get like and it's easier to for you to see how much you have left to do so what I'm gonna do here is actually I like to start with the back because the back is like the the hardest part I mean the easiest part to do and it's quick so I can get that out the way so put a scrunchie here and then we can put a scrunchie on this side <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start we're gonna start it off set it off I already greased my hair so I'm not gonna show y'all how to do it if y'all don't know how to grease my hair I'm, I don't know what to tell you I don't know what to tell you me I use I use a lot of tea tree oil there's different kind of brands this this is the one I'm currently using. I, I switch it up every now and then. I like to try different stuff in my hair. So this this is what I'm using right now. Tea tree oil by uh, Via Natural, and it smells delicious. Delicious. I don't really have any dandruff. Whenever I use this, my dandruff is like non-existent when I use this. So, if you guys want to use that, if you guys want to try it out, I don't remember where I got it from, but I'm sure they probably have it at a hair store. Or somewhere. Maybe you can order it off Amazon or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to start. So, what you want to do is make sure you get, I don't know if you can see it, get like a bunch, a bunch part. Boom. Get you like a little bit. See? That's all I need. Y'all can see that much? It's not a lot. And then you just put it on the root. And you twist. I don't know how other people twist. I'm not into the palm rolling thing. I usually, I like my fingers. I usually use my fingers to, to do it. I don't do the palm thing. I'm not sure how people do it. I don't understand it. And then you twist. Boom. 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 And then that is how you do it. See? It's nice and tight. And if you want, if you want to go back over it, you can just twist it. Boom. Boom, boom, and just let it go, and it will thrive. See, boom, and then you do it again. Repeat the process. But when you're first starting off, my recommendation would be to use beeswax and not locking gel or locking creams. Beeswax is what will get your hair to lock, like really lock, lock fast and lock well. That's what I use in mine and I had mine lock in a couple months. Like, depending on the thickness of the hair, if you use beeswax it, it might go a lot faster it might go a lot faster so if you want to try that you can if not you can use what I use or use something that you want to use for your hair that you like but I'm just showing you guys what I use I'm <laughs> 
size I did this side so it's just this little part right here whatever I have in this elastic is what I have to do left wish me luck give this video a thumbs up make sure y'all go subscribe I don't know what y'all doing I really don't know what y'all doing y'all need to subscribe leave a comment so I see that you seen the video you feel me I want to see you, see me, see you. You got me? Did that make it sense? I'm talking sense? I want to see you, see me, see you. Come on, we going up. Subscribe, amateur gang. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to get back into this.
Like, you should go comment, you should go subscribe, 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 subscrib